please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I am called Owain and I manage the Circle's magical stockroom. I was trying to tidy up but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Yes? Is there something you wish to discuss? If not, we should hurry. Time is of the essence. Adrala was a bard in the service of Divine Clemens I during the Second Exalted March. The schism had split the Chantry into the one we know and the Imperial Chantry in Devinter. There was much mistrust of the Devinter Imperium at this time, as you can imagine. Even though the Imperial Chantry forbade blood magic, the Chantry, our Chantry, did not believe them. After all, many of the Tevinter mages, and even their Magister Lords, had used blood magic with impunity throughout history. Together, with the help of the Chantry and its Templars, Adrala wrote the litany to protect against the mind-controlling abilities of blood mages. It is just a spell, like any other spell. Any mage should be able to recite it. Reciting the litany breaks any existing mind control and prevents future attempts at domination from being successful. Onward then. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered. 
doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. But I... I would like a chance to atone for what I've done. Please, if you spare me, I... I could escape and seek penance at the Chantry. I just want my life. Please. No. No, please. It is begun. Best be wary! Warden. As you say. enough time to do it. Ready. Just like you wanted. Hello? I'm nobody. I'm harmless. Please, leave me alone. What can 
demons. If you're sure it's safe, I could take a peek outside. Yes. Oh, I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. Go with you while you hunt down demons and abominations? <laughs> I'd rather not. But don't take this the wrong way. I'm sure you're excellent company and a very nice person. But it's just too... dangerous. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. I finished. What now? <laughs> 